Do you ever have those days where something around you affects you and your body definitely notices? Today is one of those days for me. So come along as I talk about how the weather affects me and my fibromyalgia. Over the last couple days, I definitely could tell that the rain is coming. Today, it is raining and I do ache more. And that's something where I'm very sensitive to what I'll call pressure changes, barometric pressure changes, elevation pressure changes, um, where if I am traveling and we go up and over some mountains, I definitely feel it and don't feel the best. Generally, if the weather is changing, where the rain is coming in, or the precipitation's coming in, I do feel uh, that in my body and it makes me ache more. Interestingly though, when the weather changes and it's going out and that stuff's going away, that difference in pressure change doesn't actually make me feel any different. I feel, you know, I do feel better, we'll say, but it's something that I'm surprised that the pressure coming off my system wouldn't also make me feel worse. I've done a variety of research online and there are varying studies. A lot of the older studies uh, have looked at this and said that weather doesn't affect you. And even though they've got thousands upon thousands of people with fibromyalgia that definitely say it does. Some of the newer studies are starting to look at it a little more and think that it is something that actually can increase pain in some people. There is hope at the end of the tunnel. And that's something that I'm looking forward to more and more research being done and it coming out where I don't know if they'll have any solutions for it, but at least the acknowledgement that it is something that can impact people and actually make their condition worse. So one other thing that also affects me is when the weather changes and gets colder. Um, the cold definitely makes me feel worse. So that is one reason why I moved from Pennsylvania to North Carolina. Try to get away from that cold, cold weather because I lived in Northwest Pennsylvania where you've got the snow and the snow belts and stuff like that right off the Great Lakes. So I moved down here four and a half, almost five years ago now uh, to get away from that and see if it could help my body. It has for a number of years. My body is, in fact, though, starting to regress some. So it's it's like it catches up to you where you feel better for a while and then your body starts to say, uh, uh it's not going to hold on like that and does start to ache more. So I'm in that phase right now. Um, I am working on some other things, which we'll talk about in some other videos to try to help offset that and help me feel better um, and slow down the progression. The cold is definitely something that down here, it doesn't get that cold usually, so a lot of times I can handle that. Uh, one thing that I did make sure that when I got down here, I purchased a house that had the um, ability to take the wood-burning fireplace and bring it back into usefulness. So that is actually one of the first things I did when I moved here. I got an insert for the fireplace, lined the chimney, um, we got some wood and stuff. So. I do have that, and that's something that actually brings me a lot of relief, whether it is rain, snow, cold. Um, anytime I'm really aching and aching a lot, a lot of times that nice wood heat gives me uh, relief from that pain. And it's interesting because my husband doesn't have fibromyalgia, but it also helps his pain too. So sometimes I get it cooking a little too hot in here, but most of the time we try to keep it to a low roar uh, just to help ease that pain. And you know what? It is a nice view to sit and watch that uh, flame flicker in there too. One other thing that does affect me with the weather is when I'm in those fall and spring seasons and it's cycling up and down and up and down and up and down. It can't make up its mind uh, what it wants to be for temperature and stuff that definitely has a dramatic impact on how I feel as well. My body likes that nice, stable, uh, consistent temperature. It likes that stable barometric pressure. So it's something else that, you know, realistically that I can't control. It's something that I have to learn to live with. And as anybody with fibromyalgia knows, 
you just live with some pain. I mean, it's not going to all go away, but there are things that we do to help manage that. Um, some of it, yes, I'm on prescription medication. Uh, I do have a topical prescription medication that um, unfortunately is not covered by the insurance company, but I chose a topical form of one of the medications because it doesn't have an overall impact on my entire body. It's very specific for where I put it. It's a muscle relaxer, pain reliever, things like that. It's it's actually quite a list of stuff all rolled into one, but it's something that definitely gives me relief when I put that on and you know where the zone is that you stop putting it on because you can definitely feel that, uh, that distinct line difference. But I'm glad to know that that's not more medication, I guess, that I'm ingesting into my body. I like to try to limit what I'm taking and I'm taking more than enough right now. So that is another way that I work to control. One of the other things that affects me is the wind. If I get a breeze on my neck or wind, even here in the house if, where I'm sitting, when the air conditioner kicks on, I've got to watch because there will be a little bit of an airflow up and over the back of the couch here. And often I have to block the back of my neck. So it doesn't really matter where I'm at, whether it be inside, outside, sunny day, rainy day. I have to protect my neck, the back part of my neck, from most breezes. I won't say all of them all the time, but most breezes and stuff like that. Because if it's a consistent breeze, then it's something that, that will make my body stiffen up and my muscles ache. Um, especially if it's that cold, damp but it's it's just interesting how those little things can make a difference um, in how I feel. So I just wanted to touch base with you today, let you know a little bit about how I'm feeling. I was thinking of it because the weather changed and the rain come in today, and I definitely noticed it. I didn't really need the forecaster to tell me this morning that it was coming because my body was telling me that it definitely was coming. So is there anything like that that bothers you? Because a lot of times they say it doesn't bother us, but those of us that have the fibro definitely know what does and doesn't bother us. So I'm just curious, am I alone out there? Or are there others of you that it does affect? Or are there other things in the weather that affect you? So let me know in the comments below, what does affect you? How does it make you feel? I'm curious because, you know, I, I want to know that I'm not alone in this and I want you to know that you aren't either. I'm here for you. I have it too. We'll get through this together. So we'll talk to you soon. I'll catch you on the flip side.